what's going on everybody welcome back we got a new series going on now we're doing resident evil 4 i'm not gonna have my pretty face in this one so oh well anyways let's go ahead and get into it hope you like the new intro as well let's do it resident evil 4 1998. I'll never forget it. It was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. I received special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Cornel, why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? Yo, who are you really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. Oh, you crazy American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. It was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently, she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? Freezing. So cold all of a sudden. Eh, must be my imagination. Sorry it took so long. Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. Yeah, we'll stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Good luck. Jeez. Who are these guys? Did you say something? I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support. What's up, Hunnigan? 
Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl. You've never played this game that. before. I'll try to find some more information on my She is on my very end, annoying. Bro. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out. Oh, this game. I love this game. I can't even lie. What's up, boys? Huh. Forget your makeup or something? Jeez. Do you have to be so mean about things? Okay. If you didn't know this, in the beginning... Oops. I missed. You can always shoot the crows and get some extra moolahs. I think that's all of them, if I remember right. Give me the moolahs. Reload. Excuse me, sir. Hello. Hey, uh, I'm with the U.S. government. I'm here to uh, talk to you. Because that's what we government officials do, is talk to people. Uh, excuse me. Sir? Hola, como esta usted? You smell like onions. I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. Que carajo estas haciendo aquí? Lorgate, cabron. Sorry to have bothered you. Oh no, if you speak Spanish, he pretty much just said, What the hell are you Ow. doing here? Get the get the f away from here. <laughs> Stupid. Freeze. For lack of better words, I won't Zip go freeze. fully. Freeze, fool! I don't want to hurt you. Ah, oh, you made me do it. It was self defense. That'll hold up in a court of law, right? Ooh, that don't sound good, guys. Shit. What's up, Hunnigan? Is everything okay? There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the I mean, subject. Understood. He just wouldn't listen to commands. I had I had to take him out. Uh Yeah, he's not a zombie. Definitely not a zombie. Old books. Though none of them are in English. Eh, interesting. Y'all want to see some funny stuff? Look at this. That's, that's just gross. All right, Leon, let's go upstairs. Which this is always my favorite route. All right, come on, buddies. Now, those that watch my Dead Space playthrough, you'll know I am a miraculous marksman. Liar! Let's go see what happened to those guys. Boy, that looked like that hurt. No. Oh no. Yeah, I think that hurt quite a bit. Knife attack. <laughs> Nothing. What a waste. More of the crows. Doggy, I help you, doggy. I always help the doggy. Now, with the remake coming out too, I saw that a lot of people are in uproar about the fact that you can't save the dog anymore; that he's already dead. I hope that's not actually confirmed because that sucks. I like the dog; he's always been my buddy. Hopefully, we'll be just be able to save the dog, and he'll actually be a thing. Or they're going to do something new. Uh, I don't want to blow those up yet. But we do want to make sure 
Let's see if I can do this with the knife. Not close enough. Hiya! Back up, back up, back up. And. Bam! Oh, sh. Well, that didn't work exactly like I thought it was going to. Now, one thing you can do is that. And then. Ah! Bam! And save some ammo. We can knife them. I think you can shoot these guys. Nope. Yeah! It's like the ultimate strategy to save ammo. Shoot him in the face, kick him in the throat. Oops. As I waste some ammo. <laughs> but shoot him in the face, kick him in the throat, and then knife them while they're on the ground. Save you a bunch of ammo. Leon, how you holding up? I'm Bad doing question, good. Honey. How you doing? Sorry to hear that. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. So I'll it's funny that they it. send Thanks. the playing manual now. At like you you had to figure it out earlier and now they have the playing manual teaching you what you got to know. I just always found that kind of funny that it's not at the beginning. Wonder if the remake will do the same thing or if it's going to be any different. Let's uh, zoom in here as they shout obscenities in Spanish. Oh. Looks like he's had better days. Chickens. What's up, everybody? Hope you guys are doing good. Have a nice day. Yep, it's, it seems like a wonderful day today. No dejes que se escape. Vayan por detrás. Why these people? Such a cool cutscene. I don't know, but here comes El Pollo Loco with the chainsaw. <laughs> we don't want to mess with him. Uh oh. Son of a. Funny little secret, or at least something that happened to me. Is that I at first time I ever played this game, I never got that cutscene. Mainly because I ran around trying to what do you, what would I say? I wasn't playing this mission right, that's for sure. So I ran around and Just jump out. I'll finish my thought in a second. Hold on. But I ran around killing everybody, trying to fight the mission or fight the people rather than actually going through and doing what I was supposed to do, which was run into that building and start the cutscene. All right, we're going to get that this equipped. Surprise, motherfucker. Because bam. And then I got a cheat code for this next one. It's not really a cheat code, but it's a strategy I do. Uh oh, that didn't work out like I thought it would. Okay, hold on. Oh, come on, chainsaw man. This is a boring strategy. <laughs> But it works. And you save way more ammo than you use doing this. Because you just kind of group everybody together. Bam! Come on now. Ooh. Let's see if I can do this fast enough. Whoops. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> oh, that's always fun. The chainsaw guy. Ah! Oh my god! Woo! That was a pure pucker moment right there for me. <laughs> Are you Pop your gourd, pop your gourd. Pop your gourd. Ah, oh, shit. This game is exciting. Ah, oh, shit. Alright, let's get back in here for a second. Kind of retreat. Watch this. I like doing this. Ah! I didn't time it right. <laughs> Sorry, Leon. I'm hurting you like a like a mofo right now. Sorry. Come on. Open the door. Bam! Bam! Yeah, that was a slow moment for me. Alright. Oh! The bell! Saved by the bell. We need to go. Lord Sattler. Where's everyone going? Bingo? Huh, where's everyone going? Bingo? Honiga, I have some bad news. I've confirmed the body of an officer. Something's happened to the people here. Leon, you need to get out of there. Look for a tower and follow the trail near it. Got it. Look for a tower. Okay, for those that don't know, there's a green herb right here. Lucy, I'm home. That's always satisfying to do. My knees. I'm too old for this. Okay, now I've officially got everything. Alert order. Recently, there has been information that a United States government agent is here investigating the village. Do not let this American agent get in contact with the prisoner. For those of you not yet informed, the prisoner is being held in an old house beyond the farm. We will transfer the prisoner to a more secure location in the valley when we're ready. The prisoner is to stay there until further notice. Meanwhile, do not let the American agent near the prisoner. We do not know how the American government found out about our village, but we are investigating. However, I feel that this intrusion at this particular time is not just a coincidence. I sense a third party other than the United States government involved here. My fellow men, stay alert. Chief Vitores Mendez. Actually, before we go, quick inventory management. First, it looks like this. Now, it looks like this, which is a lot better. And we're going to use the mixed herbs because that gives us a little bit of a health boost. Fun time. Well, let's piss off the villagers. Told you we we're gonna piss everyone off. Look, an egg. What? Hey, didn't your mama tell you not to throw things? It's not nice. Oh yeah, they can do that sometimes. It's kind of annoying. Cause it throws off the dynamic. 
Because you don't want them to move. You want them to stand still and die. Oh, no. You got me. I don't want kisses. But you can have a knife, though. Ooh, I got the golden egg. Hey, nice. So those that don't know, the golden egg heals you all the way, which is really wonderful and it comes in handy in a pinch. And if we look at the inventory, it only takes up one space. Ew. I always wondered what happened to these guys. I don't know if these are like villagers that didn't want to take on the disease that's going on here, which we'll find out later in the story of what exactly is kind of happening here. But yeah. I think they like killed them, <laughs> obviously. Hello, doggy. Don't be scared of me, doggy. I like you. Ooh, another egg. Oh, I love these eggs. You can also get eggs if you scare the chickens. Ah, I didn't see you there. Hiya. Hey, uh. Judo chop. I think if you kill the chicken, you get one too. No, it's not time to die. Key y'all. So we can't get in through here, but I know the secret entrance. Let's test the theory out, cause I don't remember. Nope, I just murdered a chicken. tip you can get that but what you want to do is shoot that first then get that see conserve ammo and I forget who I learned that from but it was a youtuber from back in the day that I watched their entire playthrough and that's where I learned a lot of the tricks that I use in my own playthroughs now. I've, I've probably ran through this game, oh crap, uh, quite a bit in my playtime. Oh, come on. Like he, his aim is just, uh, I'm gonna end up wasting all my ammo. <laughs> We'll go and get that other one in a minute. So if we drop down here, we can get the beer stain. And what we put in the beer stain are called cat's eyes. So as we collect cat's eyes throughout the game, or at least throughout this level, and I believe the next level, we can fill it up and it'll sell for buku bucks. See if I can hit it from here. There we go. All right. And I believe that's all the ones here. Uh oh. Oh yeah, we need Ashley for this one. <laughs> Duh. I missed one. I missed it again. There we go. So there's seven. I believe they show it on the map. Let's check. Yeah, they show them on the map. So when we get to that other area, I know where those are. So we got this. Sadly, that's not the same dog that we freed earlier. That dog's long gone for now. Oh no, a big rock. Run, 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 run. Run, Leon, run. We don't want to get squished. We don't want to get squished. Ah! Oh, that's always ridiculous. Shiny is miney. All right, I'm a sniper. I can do this. Let's see if I can shoot this thing. Well, I got that, guys. <laughs> Unintentionally. Oh, crap. I missed. 
Let's see if I can hit the line. Eh. There he goes. Oh yeah. Forgot about this one. Uh yeah, those don't hurt. <laughs> Oh, it's always a goldie. Oh, no. Got the box. Hey, let, let's just not do that. Bang. Where's the other one? Oh, please don't throw the dynamite at me. He's going to throw the dynamite at me and it's going to hurt balls. No. <laughs> Ooh, I got him right before he was able to do that. Smooth criminal. And this, I believe, is the first cat's eye. Hey, hey. let me in. I'm Leon S. Kennedy and this is Jackass. Damn bookcases, they heavy. Who making all that racket in there? You into some kinky stuff, man. A ah, ah, little rough, don't you think? Thought you liked it rough. You're not like them? No. You? As I untie you, not knowing. <laughs> okay. I have only one very important question. You got a smoke? Got gum. That's the important question. You got a cigarette, man? Perfect. The big cheese. What? Welcome! <laughs> 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 Ouch. He just threw two men into a wardrobe and broke the entire thing to shatters. That was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the new format that I'm going for here. If not, please let me know in the comments what you like and what you want back or if you want me to try something else as well. Going down the line, this is how I'm going to do it. And when we start the next one, I still won't have my beautiful face. We're just going to go right into it. Thank you for watching the video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Toodles.